Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Sandra Jones. Four humans are back on planet Earth after a science and research mission aboard the International Space Station, yet the investigations continue aboard the orbiting laboratory. After spending 170 days in space, NASA's SpaceX Crew-4 mission splashed down off the coast of Jacksonville, Florida on Friday after undocking from the International Space Station just five hours previously. Following splashdown, NASA astronauts Chell Lindgren, Bob Hines, Jessica Watkins, and European Space Agency astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti flew back to Houston and were greeted by staff and well-wishers. It will take some time before we have results from the science conducted during Crew-4's mission, but results from previous missions are enlightening us all the time. Imagine being able to have a portable device that could allow astronauts to self-diagnose medical conditions while traveling through deep space. This may sound like science fiction, but in a recent technology demonstration aboard the space station, experts from NASA's Exploration Medical Capability Team successfully tested the R-Health-1 Biomedical Analyzer, which is a device that uses laser technology to diagnose illness or injury. The device streams real-time vital signs to the astronaut and to the medical team on Earth. The crew member collects a single sample, such as blood or saliva, and inserts it into the device for further analysis. Results can be communicated to the astronaut and doctors back on Earth within minutes. As NASA prepares to send astronauts further into deep space for longer durations, managing and maintaining their health is a top priority. Successful tests like this one get us closer to designing medical tools that will accompany our explorers on their journey. Itching to hear a first-person perspective of launching into space? Then be sure to listen to this week's episode of Houston, We Have a Podcast, which features NASA astronaut Frank Rubio, who launched the International Space Station just last month. In the episode, Rubio takes us behind the scenes of what it's like to be an astronaut, launch into space, experience microgravity for the first time, and even what sleeping is like while floating. You can find this and other NASA podcasts by going to nasa.gov slash podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and SoundCloud. And that's Space to Ground for this week. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space.